Hey Pisces, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do a reading for you. And it's called Am I on the Right Path for 2022? So I've got the Lenormand cards as the basis of the reading, guys. And we're going to look at your journey along the way, starting from the crossroads, making your decisions right down to the snake at the end. Then we're going to look at the weeks in January. Firstly, I'm going to pull a card from the Universe Has Your Back deck and I'll put a crystal card towards the end, guys. But as I was shuffling for you, I felt like... All the sun signs seem to be overwhelmed. They're getting too many options, too many decisions. Now, for you, I felt like there was uh, some sort of news of betrayal, possibly from a woman, or some troubling news that you're going to hear. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a bit of a late night, guys, so bear with me. Thank you. Now, um, I'm going to pull the universe has your back deck and see what other messages coming through from Spirit. Yeah, for our beautiful Pisces. Thank you. Okay, we've got a couple that have fallen out for you. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So you may be going through um, a breakup of some kind, a separation. Maybe, um, you know, you're feeling this of a night time. Maybe it's a feeling of loneliness. And you've got, I honour how I want to feel. So you know you want to be happy here, Pisces. You are coming out of the clouds into some clarity. You can see the dark here. You've got the grey at the bottom, but you've got the pink. So it's all about love. But um, <clears throat> I'm feeling... You know, someone's either attacked you or you've got some fear going into 2022. You may have separated um, from a job or a, a situation, a person. But we'll see as it unfolds. Now, we've got um, the crossroads we're starting with and we're going to move forward right through. So I feel like this is about you being decisive. Well, some of you are being very decisive with your decisions. For some, I feel like there's an incident here, like a, a, an accident of some kind. And I feel like that you escaped it. Now, this was possibly a trip that you were on with a woman and she was very stressed and worried. This woman's a family woman, probably um, a domestic housewife. But... There's something about tr untrustworthiness associated to this. It's either in a family situation or a home. I also feel like you're going to receive news that could, could be false news, fake news. And you're going to start to document this on paper. I do feel a lot of you Pisceans will um, begin new friendships especially after um, being betrayed by someone that you thought had your back. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we'll go into the first week of January, guys. And so we've got the crossroads, the woman, and the letter. So maybe this is a woman's decision. Um, she doesn't want to commit to you. She may be sending you a lot of messages by text or email, the first week of January. Maybe um, she's, you know, said some hurtful things because we've got the scythe here. The scythe, the, the house and the stork. So there's definitely been some pressure on a family or on a home. Some hurtful truths have been said. And there could be decisions about a house here. Um, there could have been possibly a, a damages to a house because of um, a separation. Or maybe, you know, um, this woman's made the decision to separate. You've attacked her in some way. Or you're just feeling in pain merely um, from the separation. So maybe, you, you know, you're trying to get help here. Now, the third week of January, 
I do, oh, sorry uh, Pisces, I do really feel like you're going to move to a new home very quickly. It's going to happen abruptly and you're going to um, not let that emotions get the better of you. You're going to just make that decision and move on. Now this is not going to represent everybody that's watching. Take it in your situation. Now we've got the ship, the fox and the dog, the third week. So definitely some of you are travelling for work. I do feel like it's um, internationally with a friend or to a friend. Maybe this is a colleague or a friend that has been a bit dishonest to you. The third week of January. Could have something to do with your partner or maybe you're travelling away from this friend. The fourth week... And this, the mice, the clouds, and the snake. And yes, you're feeling a little bit distressed. Um, a bit foggy in the head you've got to get some clarity. And this is causing a lot of anxiety here, Pisces. You've got this feeling that something is very wrong. And it may lead to complications for you in the fourth week. So you need to honor how you're feeling you know um if you're sad if you're feeling in pain in any way just accept that and then move forward it's um, easier said than done of course but i don't think there's any going back here now i'm going to read di diagonally and then i'm going to mirror the cards and see what decision you did make for 2022 see if you're on the right path now, I feel like you you definitely will be moving on, but you've got several choices of houses or family options. So everyone's offering you to move in with them. I feel like you will choose your companions wisely in 2022. And I really do feel like you're taking a new friendship path. You'll definitely make progress in 2022 in a new direction. So you're on... You're honouring how you're feeling and you're not going to let it get the better of you. So you're definitely on the right path. Look, Pisces, you've got a lot of job options, but you seem to be at a little bit of a career crossroads at the start of 2022. But I do feel like you'll make the right choices. Now, I'm going to pull a card from the crystal deck. We're going to look at why this card's falling out for you and how to heal from this situation, and just anything else that's related to this crystal. So let's see what we have for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, and we have the Rhodochrosite. This is about, um, have, it's going to bring you some mindfulness, some calming energies, and things will be revealed. Now, this stone is readily available and you need to carry it on you for the month of January. Now, I'm just going to read why it fell out for you here, Pisces. And it's definitely time to open your heart to love and take the first step on your journey. Everything you do from 2022 onwards is going to be with an open heart, regardless of what the outcome is. It's going to help you evolve into the person you're meant to be. Now, healing with this crystal is very effective in helping with asthma and other disorders of the lungs. It's going to improve your circulatory system and enhance the functioning of many organs by pur purifying the blood. The stone allows us to bring forward all that we repress, and that's what you've been doing. You've been a lot of pain... There's judgment and there's fear for 2022, but you've got to honor how you're feeling. So you know that you've been repressing feelings. It's the focus in the emotional solar plexus chakra, which is the Manipura. And it's insisting that you attend to emotional turmoil and disentanglement of the past. It works closely with the breath and the pranayama which is the yoga or the yogic breathing and it enhances the energy so the rich warm color of this stone 
is it'll help you encourage it's going to encourage you to open up to your emotional core and love fully and wholly free of fear um, and be more confident and spontaneous so definitely you've got fear here it's going to help you open up and move away from that <coughs> excuse me now this crystal can help us attract our soulmate but reminds us that it isn't always an easy relationship. As I said, uh, you're going to meet some new friendships this year. And there's one that you may be a little hesitant on, but... Um, well, yeah, definitely relationships aren't always easy. You've got to work hard at them, like anything, right? So rather one that will help us grow with compassion and wisdom. In this way, it supports us in confronting deeply held traumas and issues and encourages us to bring them into the light. It teaches us to be selfless and helps to heal painful memories while keeping our heart open. So I do feel like you're going to be healing in 2022 and I'm loving the colours, a lot of passion there. You're coming out of the negative mind frame, coming into um, a lot of love, opening your heart to love. In any form, it doesn't have to just be people, so situations as well. So I hope you like the reading. As I said, it's for the collective, so take whatever resonates with you and um, perhaps check out your moon rising and Venus sign, if you know that. And if it resonated, please like and subscribe to the channel to help me continue my journey in 2022 and be able to deliver these messages for you guys. Really appreciate you being here. Stay safe, guys. Bye for now.